Hello everyone, this is Mumbo, and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. It is episode 121, and today it is actually episode 121. I know I managed to mess that up in the previous episode of Hermitcraft. I called that one episode 121, and then the episode number was actually episode 120, and it caused a ton of confusion down in the comment section. There were loads of debates and loads of different things going on down in the comment section, but this one is actually officially episode 121, okay? So, to clear up any confusion, Previous episode, episode 120. This one, episode 121. The next one is going to be episode 122. So hopefully, hopefully I've managed to clear everything up today. But anyway, in today's episode, episode 121, we have got a ton of really awesome plans. I've got a load of cool ideas and a load of different bits and pieces that I want to be doing. So I'm really excited for today's episode. But before we begin, I just want to mention massive thank you for the really positive response to the previous episode of Hermitcraft, the one where we got 1,000 deaths. We managed to get 1,000 deaths in one episode. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, it was just an awesome response. There were loads of lovely comments, loads and loads of likes, loads of people just getting involved, tweeting me and things like that. It was just a really nice thing to see. My first proper episode of 2016 and going down so well. Really great start to the evening. So, um, funny story. <laughs> I'm stuck in the nether. Yeah, I'm fully stuck in the nether. I don't know if my connection to the server is awful. I don't know if my internet's gone down. You can see those pressure plates there are depressed. If I press this one down as well, nothing happens. This guy's not moving, and I can't get back through into the overworld. Oh, I can! I, I've made it back through! That's good. Um, I don't actually know what's going on right here. What's just happened, though, is I've just taken out the death machine, because we're going to be working on that a little bit in today's episode. We're not going to be doing too much dying, I wouldn't have thought. I don't plan on adding too many deaths. However, I do have another milestone to work towards, which I saw down in the comment section that I really like. But this could be problematic <laughs> if I can't get out of my nether room. Because, well, of course, you can use the Great Rail, but I've got so used to having the nether now, it's almost really disappointing using the Great Rail. It, it just takes, you know, two minutes. That's two minutes that I just I can't be bothered to waste anymore. So I think I'm going to try faffing about in the nether. Maybe I'll contact Exumavoid and see what's going on. Because if the nether is broken again, which I know it has been... This guy's moving. This is good. Oh, my redstone's broken! Oh! <laughs> oh, 2016 is so not the year for me. Why does everything keep going wrong? Ah. Oh. Every time I come back into the nether, <laughs> my door is in a different state. And now, no, I'm back in the nether portal. This pressure plate is now stuck on, but those ones have come off. I think, like, the tick speed must just be ridiculously slow right now in the nether. Let's check something, because I know that uh, we've been having some problems with entities. There's 18, so that doesn't seem to be the problem to me. I mean, if there's only 18 entities, I don't think that's, that's much of a problem there. But, no, it looks like... Oh, yep, things are happening just at a really, really slow pace. Oh, smashing. Absolutely smashing. It was bound to happen at some point. Let's wait and see if this one blows over. Fingers crossed, I just did a bunch of running and I made it into the Hermit Hills area. So here goes. Let's see. The server did just close. I'm here. I'm actually here. Okay, I've actually managed to make it here. Still got a thousand deaths. Everything is good. Right, okay. The first plan... For today's episode is we're actually finally, after 115 episodes, I would probably say, we're going to be heading down here, and we're going to be heading down here, and we're going to be making use of the evil science lab that I built so early on, and I was going to fill it with redstone contraptions, there was going to be loads of stuff in here, and I've just had a thought. Are there any are there any requests in here? Yes. Oh no. <laughs> I, I forgot about all of this. Um, I forgot about my redstone consultancy. But anyway, yeah, this is the evil science lab. And I thought, what better place to put a death machine than in the evil science lab? I mean, this thing's been here for ages. And it hasn't had any evil contraptions yet. So I'll get to get building. And hopefully everything fits in here. And it all ends up looking very good indeed. Now, I've decided I am actually going to be doing a proper tutorial on this one in the next couple of weeks, I suppose. So I'll be doing one of those soon. But I thought I would also build a little bit of this on camera just because it's a really simple contraption. And yes, I do freely admit that A, server connection is bad, as you can see right here. Uh, I don't think those blocks are still there. Maybe they might be, maybe they're not. Honestly, can't tell what's going on at the minute. Don't know if it's my problem or if it's the server's problem. 
But I will just say that my internet's been fine all day, so I'm assuming this is server side, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. Um, but yeah, I do I do admit that I forgot to put the script for the macro down in the description of the previous episode. So hopefully I remember to put it in at this one because that macro is pretty cool. It's just an auto clicking loop. You press a button and then it just begins clicking for you. And that, of course, that allowed me to get the 1000 deaths because otherwise I don't think I would have done it. I would have got to 100. I got to 100 manually pretty much. But I don't think I would have gone to a thousand. I think I would have cried myself to sleep and my poor <laughs> clicking finger would have been uh, brittle and bruised. So um, I'm really glad that that macro did exist. But anyway, as you can see, we are almost done here. This is our dual edge monostable circuit that will run into this redstone torch right here. And I'm having to do things just a tiny bit differently because of the configuration. But it should look something just a tiny bit like this. So there we go. No. No, okay, because these blocks <laughs> these blocks just suddenly disappeared for some reason. There. And then take out that one. Good. Okay, right. So that is now up and running. So now all I have to do is chuck in all of the signs and everything like that. And then we should be all good to go. So I built the contraption. Everything is in place. And I've realized that it's off center. I added in this extra section here with the redstone lamp to try and fix that still off center. So uh, what I'm going to do now is unfortunately, as disappointing as this is, going to take out the entire thing and rebuild it one block over to the left. The struggles, the struggles of wanting everything to be perfect, I tell you. For the second time today and the third time this year, everything is now done. Okay, so we have built the entire death machine. It's now centered. It looks less centered though. What have I managed to do there? Two blocks on that side, two blocks on that side. Everything should be fine. Maybe I'll add... I mean, this is completely pointless, I will add. Um, but I'll add, like, a few blocks on this side. Just to add... You know, that's worked. How strange is that? I think it's because that side looked more weighted. So just by adding those blocks, it sort of helped the situation. Okay, so there is the death machine. We now have an evil redstone mechanism inside the evil science lab. Of course, I'm not going to test it right now because I've got exactly 1,000 deaths and I don't want to ruin that. But that is looking good as new. So now we are going to head back over to my base area because I've got a few other bits and pieces planned. Massive shout out to Void for just rolling back the nether right there because it has fixed all of the server problems. Temporarily, I might add. I don't know if there are some serious problems that are going on, but everything seems to be fixed. And my, my face is back. My face is no longer mutilated. God, it's a good day. We're a little bit behind schedule, but the next plan that I've got is over in the viewing station that I created. Because as you guys know, I've got a bit of like a ghetto solution right now for my minecart. So my minecart comes up, and then it just sort of bounces around and it doesn't really do much. And I want one of those like advanced minecart stations like we have over here and down there and over in the Great Rail and all that sort of thing. So I thought we would add one of those in up at the top here. Now they're never too complicated, but I've just realized something. I'm missing my boots, which, you know, it's in my inventory. I'm missing my boots. How slow is life without Depth Strider? I was wondering why it was taking me so long to get over here. How do I live without this? We we need some new boots fast, otherwise I'm just gonna break down. This is horrible. So I work. We start walking through honey. Do you ever have one of those days where you just forget everything? I'm forgetting so many resources right now, and it's driving me mad. Like, <laughs> I don't get angry very often, but there are just sometimes I just want to put my fist through my screen, and I have been back and forth to my base in that slow honey water because I don't have depth strider for about, you know, five or six times now because I've forgotten things and I've just realized I've forgotten my cacti. I put my cacti away in a chest while I was picking up the other stuff that I was bringing over here. I don't believe me sometimes. And I've forgotten repeaters. What am I doing? Oh, <laughs> oh. today's not my day. <laughs> if there's one future project that I definitely need to do, it's to get myself a cactus farm, because I swear I spend half my life going to and from the Hermit Hills area, picking up cacti. And I, I don't even use that many cacti. I swear the only times I use cacti is when I'm doing these minecart stations. But it's it drives me around the bend. I just hate traveling. I'd much rather just stay at home in my base and have all my resources there. So I think we're definitely going to have to do that at some point. Okay, so in theory, everything should now be almost finished. I've just got to link up the detector rail using this redstone right here. 
and the, yeah, that's definitely not going to work, is it? So there we go. Right, so everything is finished there, and I'll place iron blocks like this, and to keep it symmetrical, I'll place an iron block on that side as well. That looks pretty good, actually, I have to say. That's ended up looking better than I expected. Um, but naturally, it will come in like this, and then it will change state, and I've just had a thought. We're probably going to need to add a little bit of delay on that repeater, maybe, maybe that many, maybe three ticks. I'm sure that will do. And then we'll come in like this, and then we'll go off to that side. That will break the minecart, and we'll go across like this. Then when we stand on this one, it will drop out the minecart, and also turn off the powered rails. And I think we're going to have to adjust the tick delay on that one there, because that looked a little bit slow. So maybe two ticks on that one, and that should be, that should be everything completed. So we just need that, that there, make sure there's nothing in the dispenser. Good, okay, so we've got ourselves a working minecar station, finally. Despite the fact that I seem to mess up quite a lot today, and I've managed to go back and forth from my base probably about five or six times, this thing is now completed. So now we can move on to the main project of today's episode, which is something that I'm really quite excited for. So, in further good news, because everyone knows that this day is going really well for me so far, uh, the contraption that I was going to use doesn't actually work anymore, I just tested it out in the testing world and it, it doesn't appear to be working particularly, so we're going to have a change of plan today. As you can see, I am in my bedroom area, still going to be building the same rough idea, it's just unfortunately not going to have all the fancy fandangled redstone that I originally had planned with it. Now, in terms of location, it's going to be a bit of a struggle. I've been looking around in the bedroom area, I did want to build it in the bedroom area, but I couldn't really find a spot for it, so I thought I'd just sort of take you through this one. But I have a feeling that we have very limited space indeed. Hang on, let me just mine through. Ooh, we, we have a lot. Of, we, hmm. Okay, maybe we don't have quite as limited space as I first imagined. Where's the... Where is the, the bowl here? I suppose, yeah, no, it, it must be... Yeah, we've got, we've got loads and loads of space. So we can actually do something in this wall here, which is something that I wasn't really expecting. So we're going to be building it in this section, and I'm thinking about using both sides. No. No, that doesn't look good. Okay, maybe we won't use that side. Instead, yeah, as I say, we will use this little section right here. And we're going to construct this contraption or this little room area inside this space right here. So the first thing that I've got to do is, of course, I've got to clear out this area. Right, here goes nothing. This is all of the snow that I've got. I really hope this works. Okay, we've created the guy. No snow is on the floor. I don't know if I should be concerned about that or not. Let's get him in there, and why can I not place that thing? I can't place it, guys! It's it's not gonna work! Is Have I done this wrong? Hang on, if I move these... Oh, <laughs> help! <laughs> He's not gonna stick around there for very long! Why, why, does this not work? Have I done, have I, oh no! He's about as in there as he can possibly be, and yeah, it doesn't look like I'm actually able to stick him in. And now he's moved, he's moved, he's moved off. And he's, yeah, why? The other thing that I'm a little bit concerned about is the fact that he didn't place any snow on any of these blocks. So, yeah. I might have to do some Googling here. I'm going to have to do some Googling as to why that happened there. I should really research these things before I start building them. But by the look of things, <laughs> this this whole thing might not work, which is just what I need. I'm stupid. I'm actually stupid. It turns out, I had no idea about this, but it turns out, as they move, they leave a trail of snow on the ground if the blocks can support it, which is, that's absolutely fine. They will only produce snow in biomes with a temperature less than 0.8, which includes cold, snowy, and some medium biomes, including the end. Now, by the look of things, the swamp is not one of those biomes, which means that, of course, it doesn't work! It actually doesn't work! But I swear I have made one before, and I swear I have made it up at the top there. What biome are we in? Swampland. Now, what biome are we in up at the top there? Because that's the only reason why I'm a little bit confused, and that's the only reason why I thought it would work, is because I have built one up at the top of my base, over where the beacon is. Hang on, give me a second. So this is where I built the previous one. As you can see, it still says Swampland. Let's chuck down this little guy and see if he leaves snow anywhere. It doesn't look like he does. I've built one here. 
I swear I've built one here. I have definitely built a snow machine up in this area. Was it here? Did I build it on these blocks? No, that is still swampland. Hang on, let's give it another bash. He's not leaving any snow, is he? <gasps> what? <laughs> what? Why is he leaving snow there? I'm I'm beyond confused. So I can only make a snow machine on these three blocks. <laughs> Did I just get really lucky last time I built a snow machine? I built it in this sort of area. I am I am beyond confused. Well, it looks like my project that I had planned for today's episode isn't going to work. He's leaving snow there. He's le This is why I built it. This is actually why I built it. So it's still swampland, but does it go into like mountainous? I think it might. I think it might. And that might be why the snow is appearing, because this is where I built the snow machine last time. So I suppose we could build a snow machine here? It definitely looks like snow can be placed here. Alright. Maybe we might just have to have a snow machine. There's snow on top of these! I don't even know what to think anymore, guys. I seriously don't know what to think. Is it a Y value thing? No? No, I, I, don't, I just don't know. I just don't know, guys. I just... I'm lost. <laughs> Minecraft has boggled my mind. Uh. Okay, doing some new testing now. We're going to see if the Y value affects this one. So as you guys know, underneath here, snow does not get placed down. Let's see. I, I don't even know. So we can build... Yeah, yeah, it looks like... That's mind blowing. That's actually really strange. What's what's with that? If we if we nudge this guy over here, if we stop him from doing his disco dance, get under there and uh, we'll see. No, yeah, he's not going to place any snow, is he? There's no way. So it is. It's a Y value thing. So we can place we can build a snow machine up here. <laughs> this is so strange. I feel like I should just. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do anymore. This is the thing, because, you know, my original idea, I was going to build a snow machine, it was going to be in my base area. I've cleared out that area, I've got everything set up, uh, I did a bunch of testing, and I did a bunch of different ways to get the snow golems in there, and none of it actually worked. And then I've brought them up here, on some Y values they play snow, on some of them they don't. This is all very, very backwards to me. And I've got to be really careful about that one. Um, but yeah, this is all very backwards to me. But I think this is sort of sussed this one out. However, I don't know I don't know where I want to build a snow machine if I want to build a snow machine. If I want to build it up here, or if I want to build it over there, or up on this hill. I do sort of want a snow machine. Maybe I could build it over there. I could build it in the viewing station. I'm going to have to take some time to think about this one. I, I seriously am. So instead of messing about with the snow machines and all those sorts of things, I've concluded that I'm going to forget all of that. I'm just going to forget all of it. And instead, I am going to get myself some diamond boots. So I'm going to get myself some new boots. I've got a Feather Falling 4 book on me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enchant the boots. Fingers crossed everything goes to plan there. If it doesn't, then I'll chuck Feather Falling 4 on it and it'll all be fine. But I really, really want Depth Strider. So hopefully I can manage to get really lucky. But I, I'm not counting on it because today I swear Minecraft hates me. I, seriously, Minecraft hates me. Nether was broken, and then we got that fixed, but that was a massive pain in the bum. I then, well, I built my death machine incorrectly. That that was my own fault. But then we come back through, and the snow machine idea that I had isn't going to work. And then it turns out it's because they have to be like higher than a certain number of blocks to put down snow, which is just really very strange. And I'm just completely lost on Minecraft today. So hopefully I get the best enchantment in the world here. Otherwise, I will lose all faith. And I will just think that Notch just clearly hates me and has a personal vendetta against me. Here goes. I already know I'm going to be getting Protection 3, which is happy days for me because I've got a Protection 4 book back at the base. So here goes. Huh? I actually did it! Notch doesn't hate me! Ah! Oh, I just double fist pumped in the air! That was a bit of a girly scream. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was not meant to that was meant to be a manly grunt. <laughs> um but I am so so chuffed with that. Thank you. Ah, oh, the Minecraft gods are on my side today. 
for the end of today. The rest of the day it's been rubbish. I've had a, I, it's been just all over the shop today. Um, everything's been going wrong for me. Not even in Minecraft as well. My internet has been going down. That wasn't the problems with the server. There, there were definitely problems with the server. But my internet went down, and then I've had. I didn't have any food in my fridge, and it's just, it's just all those, you know, first world problems that I'm suffering from. So to get Depth Strider three. Oh, that makes me so happy. I'm so that's actually put just that's put me in a really good mood for the end of today's episode. I hope that you have enjoyed today's slightly more mismatched episode. I apologize that this has been whoa my eyes. Uh, I apologize that this episode has been a bit all over the shop. Uh, I don't know what I'm actually going to call this one. I'm almost tempted to call it my worst episode ever or Minecraft hates me. You know, one or the other. Minecraft hates me. Notch hates me. That's a, that's a good possible title. Or worst episode ever. I'm I'm almost. Wow. Hello. <laughs> hello, you. <laughs> Your slow descent. I should probably be wary of him actually because he's probably quite lethal. Um. But yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, please short hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later. <laughs>